KBR, the big plugin website, just released a local plugin management solution for Windows or Mac, and you can download this application completely for free. And it scans your hard drive for VST2, VST3, and CLAP plugins. And you get a list of all your installed plugins on your local hard drive. And then you can synchronize this list with KVR and you get information about updates or you can leave a review or maybe read the forums or stuff like this. And this is here the announcement in the background. And there's also a dedicated web page for this application here. And I leave you a link in the description below. So you can head over to this page here, read what's going on, and you can also download here Windows and a Mac client. Okay. Um, it looks like this. Maybe I go here to my local version. So you see on the left side here a list of all your installed plugins. Um, you can scan your plugins. You can synchronize this list with KVR. Uh, we have some options here. We can sort by CLAP plugins or VST only if you want to, right? Or all plugins. Um, on the right side, you can see KVR. Basically, it's just a website, more or less. You can also head over here to My KVR. And yeah, and then see news here. So it's basically just a website, the KVR website. Um, so on the left side here, we can also say, let's say uh, KVR newer, right? So now we see versions or plugins that are installed where the version is outdated basically locally. You can see your adaptive verb installed version is 1.2 and available version on KVR is 1.4. This doesn't need to be the current version of the plugin. Maybe the vendor or the company didn't update KVR, so maybe KVR is also outdated on this um, because you can also switch it to a local newer. So this means some applications have newer versions on my PC than on KVR. So you can see your Xen2 basically installed version is 2.13 and available version on KVR is 1.3. So the vendor needs to update basically the page or the version or the available version here. Um, so yeah, so you can see a list of stuff that's outdated on your local PC and you can also see what's completely available that's installed at all on your PC here in a list. You can also search for stuff. Also interesting, you can right click here and can say show in Explorer, right? And you can go directly to this uh, file here in my VST3 folder, which is nice. And uh, you can also double click on this here. Double click on Ace here. And it shows you on the right side, basically the KVR page, which is also nice. You can read some re reviews here and some informations. Um, for me, actually interesting was the scan process. So I do this here with you and I hit scan and I say scan for all new or updated plugins. And it starts to scan. You can see this in the lower right corner. And then I get something like this. And this is something I get all the time when I update Bitwig Studio, right? Or when I switch to a different door and try out some things because I have to test a lot of uh, different plugins in different uh, doors because people ask me weird questions all the time and I need to try it out, right? So uh, then I go into a different door or maybe in a new Bitwig version, I get this pop in all the time and then I hit quit because this is just a trial version I have installed maybe two years ago. And after the scan process is done, I always forget to remove these plugins by because I can't remember all the plugins that popped up. I have multiple of these. And um, yeah, I had quit basically, and then it continues to scan, quit. So I have to do this all the time, basically. So here's a problem, ignore. And when it's done with scanning your uh, hard drive, it shows you some kind of lock and that's pretty interesting um, it takes a moment here to catch up so it shows you this lock lock file here you can see down here we have 15 errors found during scan right we can sort the spiral so these are basically the plugins i want to remove fail to scan um, and you can right click here and can say show in explorer and it also gives you basically the file 
directly on the hard drive and you can right click and, and say uh, delete or whatever or move it to a different directory so easy to remove basically from here all the um, plugins I don't want to have but also down here it shows you plugins that are installed in multiple directories, right? You can see your Google Force with version 1.4 was also found in a different directory. So you can get rid of these doublets, basically, which is also nice and not easy to do uh, without a management solution. So um, yeah, that's basically that's basically it about this application. It's just a beta version. I hope they improve on this a bit because it also crashes from time to time. But also, I don't need to use this every day. It's just for me to get an overview of, over what's installed on my uh, hard drive, maybe get information about updates, and also get rid of some plugins that are uh, producing errors during the scan process in different DAWs. So yeah, I want to uh, show you this here because I saw this just released a few days ago and no one spoke about it and I found it quite interesting because there's nothing like this on the market if I'm right. So there's nothing on the market where you can, you know, manage all your plugins. Um, so quite interesting. Maybe you want to give it a go. Um, that's it for me for this video. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and give me all your money. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.